Garbodor time. You guys ready for the big Ali G Garbodor? I'm excited. Let's use Garbodor. Like, the way you want to play Garbodor, right, is you want to play it with a weakness policy. And you want to use a Bulldoze Mon to proc the weak armor and enable the weakness policy, right? And then Garbodor just, like, one-shot stuff. Bulldoze and Stone Jorn to give it power spot. I'll, I'll do it. That's the sauce. Stone joy. We're good. All right, we got it. these two. That's our combo. All right, what else do we want to use? Power spot. For everyone wondering why we use Charizard, the simple and clean answer is it's the best. It's like the best max mon in the game. Blastoise. Now, you want to go with Charizard because Charizard's a flying type, right? And so we can just we Charizard and go Bulldoze uh, place. What else we need? I'm going to go Ninetales. All right, cool. That's the moveset I wanted to. All right, we got Sun. All right, we need two more mons. We need two more mons for this team. Rapidash. I'm waiting to use this set for a while, too. Okay. One more mon. All right, we did it. Let's make the team. This team is going to be fun. Let's go win some games. You guys ready to destroy that Excadrill? You ready to end his life force? Uh, let's see. <laughs> this will not work. He's just gonna earthquake me, guys. Chat, he's just gonna earthquake me. Um, let me actually think about this. I actually think it's a good idea to lead nine tails. Could we can hard switch in the stone joiner. Like you'll see what you'll see what happens when you do like this combo. It's super nutty. I actually think Heracos is dope as a scarf on here. But we're just going to bring the Garbodor because I want to use Explosion. All right. So I wonder how many of you guys can actually see what's going to be happening here. Do you guys understand what the what the combo is here? There's never been a move that's about to be stronger than what we're using here. There's never been a move that's been stronger than what we're about to be popping off with. Wait, that's the wrong Ninetales item. Fuck. All right, we got to switch our item out. I thought I had the uh, other item. That's a red card, isn't it? Ugh. Wrong item on the Ninetales. It was supposed to be an eject pack. You're supposed to use overheat, proc your eject pack, after setting sun, come in with a stone journal power spot, and then Zard one shots. It was supposed to be. We, we'll go make the eject pack. Oh, we'll see. We're still gonna win this one. We're still gonna win. All right, go for it, Chief. I mean, if he goes for the fake out, the combo is still correct. Yeah, Egypt pack, uh, but nine tails can work. It's really ice. I think it's really—it's my favorite set. We just have the wrong item on the nine tails. All right, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I can just do it here. <laughs> so, what one base bashlands are—they have the same base. They have the same base because this team wasn't made to be like that. They're the exact same. Like I said, it doesn't really matter what happens here. I'm assuming he's going to pick up the nine tails, And then we'll just switch in the stone joiner and be fine. Because you would be fake out of the nine tails here. So let's see. Big Zard. Fake out, fake out, fake out. Ayo! Alright. Let's go. Someone's about to get messed up. Wasted! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! Where are you looking, huh? Well, oh, that's funny. That's so funny. Yeah, we're just gonna be able to like we broke it sash there, so it's not like a problem anymore. So we just get to go for an overheat next turn. Scarf nine tails with fake tears. I don't, I think it's a waste of a scarf with nine tails. Like you better just you're better off using a prankster one, I think. Nine tails or melodic? Yo, like I care. Like I care. Um, I, I'll overgrowth it. It's probably enough to KO it. And I'm just gonna go for a big overheat. He wants to max the ex exec. Eh. Exodus suddenly loses it. 
And we'll switch our Nine Tails item off in just a sec. It would have immediately switched the Nine Tails item off if I would have led that way and I had the eject pack because it would have been switched out from the um it would have set the sun and then eject pack would have switched out because of the intimidate. So we would have already had our stone drawner bro on the board. We would have just ended his whole career. This guy's thinking like what do I even do against this? Yeah we're on casual right now. We already streamed like two hours of rank. We got like rank top we're like top two hundred I'm afforded the luxury of using the, the memes on this format. You don't lose your melodic cheek. You have to max that thing or else you're going to lose it. Let's see. Right play. I like it when they make the right plays. Right play. Yo, is that Teddy Pup? So sorry. I'm so sorry, Mr. Sub, my friend. Can we put some subs up? Yo, Teddy Pup. Subscribe in tier one. Thank you. Big thank you. Maximum thank you. Hope we're having a wonderful day, my friend. What is your favorite Pokemon? I'm curious. I'm curious what your favorite Pokemon is. Overheat's not going to do that much. Oof. That's how you good, man. Means I missed a mouse team. Yep. We won, like, almost every game with it. It was really good. Geysers. Right play. Correct play. Wise choice. Yo, I'm actually super happy he hits that. Oh, I didn't even die. Yo, Ninetales thick? Yo, Ninetales dummy thick. Alright, let's see how much damage like we can do with the rest of these mons. Alright, I actually think so like solar power is like a 1.3. Sorry, it's 1.5, isn't it? Like, I think if I were to switch out the Stone Jorner, it wouldn't be enough. It's fine. Yo, Doggy1933 subscribe to Twitch Prime as well. So many subs today, guys. You guys are absolutely slaying it. You know, I was actually starting to feel like, oh, man. Like, let me know if I'm wrong here. But, like, so, you know, I was one of the first people once, like, quarantine started. Even before quarantine. Like, I streamed in the mornings, right? I'm talking, like... Even going back to like the Let's Go days, I've always kind of like, ever since 2017, I've been like a morning streamer, right? And so, like before James Beck was around, before Battle Room was around, before EDU, before like even like Eeks, uh, pretty much the only people that consistently streamed VGC were me and Master Mark. And Osiris streamed a decent amount, used to have like Poke Professor Marcus used to stream some VGC. Talking about like the 2017 to 2019 days. And they were the only people that really streamed like competitive battle. And so, uh, you know, with the quarantine though, a lot of people can't really work. So you're starting to see a lot more people go into like streaming, right? So you're seeing like James Beck pick up morning streaming, Battle Room's been streaming, uh, like EDU, and all these people are getting partnered. Uh, and then you're starting to see like people like James Eeks, they stream in like the afternoon, Ashton Cox streams in the afternoon, Master Mark still streams at night. And all these people are all getting like partner buttons. They're all becoming like really well known on Twitch. And so I was actually starting to like worry because like, you know, I kind of like to do my own thing. Like right now, we're just doing a casual battle. It doesn't even really matter. We did two hours of ranked, um, but you know, like a lot of people would much rather watch like James Beck and Battle Room. And I, I totally understand that. Like I get that 100%. But like, I just was starting to worry that like, you know, I was like, man, I probably have to like switch up my stream time just because like, I don't want to have to compete with like, other people that are making serious rank one pushes when I just want to like play for fun because I it's not that I don't think you guys will watch me it's that like I'm I know for a fact that like a lot of you guys want to watch like actual serious rank competitive stuff and if like you'll still watch me but if you watch me when James is streaming a lot of you guys would watch James you know so like I I wanted to like switch my stream schedule up and I'm just happy that today's going really well because it just shows that I was wrong <laughs> and you guys still just want to watch me because we do fun stuff here we do fun stuff here, I think that we do. Please go away. Yeah, we take those. Rather watch you because your chill personality. I think that, yeah, that's the thing like I bring to the table. I think I bring like a lot of, you know, like memes, fun. Like we have a big community, you know? Party shot, go for it, Chief. 
James Beck. Yeah, and then like he didn't, and so like I started streaming a little bit later today to wait out James's stream, and he didn't even stream today. It was funny. But I do think that like, you know, we've been, we've kind of like anchored ourselves in a really good spot on Twitch to where I could stream like pretty much anything and we'd have a lot of people watching because like, again, we have that big community. Like, I think people like Battle Room, uh, James Eeks, yeah, even James Beck, all those people that just recently got partnered, they're gonna, they're gonna struggle uh, once the views for Sword, once the hype is gone and people start scrapping over views, it's gonna be a lot harder for them to maintain like that viewership yeah, right. and maintain that stuff. Like they don't that's know, right. like winter is coming, you know, winter is coming. Yeah, thank you for the follow. You're the most entertaining and information Pokemon streamer. Also James and others spam ads after almost every game. Do they really do that? The only place I'll spam ads is on YouTube. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to just blast burn this. Oh. You, go, you can only fake out one. You have chosen incorrectly. You've chosen. Yeah, I haven't seen uh, James play ads. But I play ads on YouTube. I've, I've, actually, a lot of people, like, so do you know that, like, on Twitch, like, if you guys watch the VOD on Twitch, I don't get, like, any, like, ad revenue from that. That's where Twitch makes all their ad revenue. I get, like, I, I'll, I'll get a few thousand views on a Twitch VOD. <laughs> the guy DC'd with Mal. I'll get a few thousand views on a Twitch VOD, and then from there, I'll get, like, 30 cents, which is terrible. Um, but, like, if you watch that on YouTube, if I already had a thousand views, I'd get, like, 20 bucks. You know, that's just because how I, I relegate the ads. And so, like, that's a lot of times, like, I'm not ever going to make my Twitch streams, like, subscriber only or anything like that. But I will say, if you guys can watch something on Twitch or watch it on YouTube, I would much rather watch it on YouTube because, like, Twitch takes the cut for watching on ads. That's actually how Twitch makes their money. Oh fuck, we got to s switch the eject button. Uh, so, so one thing that I've done, I'm actually just gonna, oh, this guy's a cool team, I'll play this. Um, one thing that I actually think is that when the stream is over, if you wanna play some ads, if like, so let's say I've streamed for like two and a half, three hours with no ads, and I'm saying, hey guys, I'm gonna be getting on out of here and play some ads, I think that's okay. Uh, one of my favorite streamers in Control used to do that, and I always thought that was pretty cool. You're the best personality, have the coolest teams, favorite team builder. Personally, my two favorite streamers are you and Master Mark. Yeah, Master Mark's my favorite uh, other streamer too. So let's see. And I get the thing, like I don't want to, I don't want to stream later and compete with him for views because he's my buddy. All right, I'm just gonna do this. You think I care? You guys ready? Are you ready? We don't even need the good mons. Zard. The, what is that, Nine Tails? We don't even need those good mons. Who needs good mons? No, you guys can watch me live. Um, that's fine. I want you guys to watch live. I don't want people to watch the VODs as much. Because, like, Twitch takes a huge cut. Guard of Arsh, go for it. Oh, is it like, uh, I don't know what the hell set that is. Are you guys ready, though? Are you guys ready for this? Trace my power spot. No! <laughs> no! That's cheating! You can't you can't take my power spot. That's not fair. It's a darker shifu. I don't want a special attack. Oh, it poisons them. Ha! I will load your YouTube videos and they give you ads when I watch Twitch replays. It's audio only and there usually aren't ads. Twitch still puts the ads there. Really fun to watch. Oh, the ads run YouTube pulling. Oh, you don't have to do that. No, you don't have to run the ads run full screen. You can skip that stuff. The fact that like we get a good click like right from the second of the ad. Power Spot Gardevoir. I mean, I made a video talking about Power Spot Gardevoir before. Now, let's go. This is just going to be fun. Detect. I'm still getting that poison though. I'm still in there with that poison. Are you triggering me? Let's go. It's the fire minefield in a new form. What do you mean? Battle room, Eater James, mainly aiming for top rank. Yeah. I think that our channel is a lot of fun. Best item for hat. I think most people like to use life ward, but I think weakness policy has been a lot of fun. Oh, no, this is the original Nine Tails form. I want to see what they're actually going for. Like, they would dumpster our guard, our Garbodar, but we'll see. 
Yeah, that's good damage. Get poisoned. Look at me, using the big G-Max Gardevoir. Get poisoned. He's probably trick rooming me, huh? Are you really just gonna trick room me like this? Misty terrain. Oh, we got the. <laughs> yeah, we, we just snuck in there. You like how we just sneak in there just a little bit? Misty seed, that's dope. Alright, what do we wanna use here? They're already poisoned on the Misty terrain, yo. I'll take that. Look at that damage. Alright, the problem is, like, who's more of a threat? Um. See, because like, I'm looking at it like this, like I think I can make sure Stone Jorner can KO that. Because I think Max Strike. And this is boost up 150 because it's boost off of Explosion. So we're going to speed drop the Gardevoir. Oh, but then the Urshifu protected last turn, right? Didn't he protect? Oh, wait, but this thing is now speed drop. Yeah, we're good. We're good. This is dope. Superpower, dumpster. Max Strike, dumpster. Yo, let's go. Let's go, Garbodor, popping it off. <laughs> oh, that's so, that's so nice. And then the speed drop is gonna make it so the Urshifu's slower than my superpower spamming. Freaking, yup. Let's go. Still Drooner. Whoa, he's so thick. What? That's never lucky. Never lucky. That's fine. That thing's bulky. It's okay. Low kick. Go for it, Chief. I'm actually completely happy that we're good. That was a crit too. Wow, I had a defense drop and it was super effective and stab. But he's gonna take out in his Misty terrain. I'll take those. Kicking on out. All right, so let's see. Right now our Garbodor's fast too because we have a weakness policy. Uh, what is it, a weak armor proc? Do we go Rapidash or Heracross? Uh, let's go Heracross. Let's go Heracross. Show me that Lapras and I'll show you what I'm working with. Heracross, that's right. that's right. The big boy. Right. Marowak, uh-uh. Abort mission. Heracross don't care. Talonflame, yo. Talonflame's cheating. All right, let's see. I'm a rock slide. And then all these, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna overgrow the crap out of this Marowak. You totally brave bird my Heracross. That's fine. You better, you better hit the Heracross, right? Let's go. Whoa, he's going Big Max Marowak. Yo, I want my power spot back. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I wonder if he's going to be dual wing beat. Dual wing beat would be super hard to deal with here, actually. I'd, I'd much rather see a Brave Bird. Tailwind. I, I might still have to speed this Marowak. With my Garbodor. Yes, Heracross does. Yo, the big rock slide energy. All right, Garbodor. I know you got that plus one speed right now, Chief. That's right. Plus one outspeeds the plus two because we fast. We fast, strong, confident. Oh, <laughs> oh, this team is so sick. This team is amazing. Oh, that's funny. See, games like this are so much fun, right? I think games like this are an absolute blast to play because you're not ever going to see this. Like, you're not going to see Zhang or Wolf or any of those players bust out like Stone Jorner, G-Max Garbodar. You're never gonna see it.